So remember, we use the same rules to add and subtract rational expressions that you use to add and subtract numerical fractions. Um, you can add the numerators of rational expressions with like denominators, right? So that's the key, like denominators for adding or subtracting rational expressions. So if I look at this one, what is the sum? I can see that we already have a common denominator of 3a minus 4. So that's nice. We know our new denominator is going to be 3a minus 4. They're both the same. And our numerators, now we can combine them. 2a plus 3a is 5a over 3a minus 4. And we're not asking for excluded values. So this is our final answer. Moving along to number two, same idea, but now it's difference. Here we already see there's a common denominator of z plus 3. So we know our final answer is going to be over z plus 3. And now we can um, combine our numerators, 2 minus 7. So that is going to equal negative 5 over z plus 3. And same thing here on part B, there's a common denominator of 10n minus 4. So we know what we combine from our numerators is going to be over 10n minus 4. And that is going to be 9n minus 3. Now remember, we are subtracting this entire numerator, 3n plus 5. So don't forget, when you're subtracting, you have to distribute that negative to both terms in that second um, numerator. So we have 9n minus 3 minus 3n minus 5 all over 10n minus 4. Combining like terms to simplify in my numerator, 6n minus 8 over 10n minus 4. And we should always simplify if we can. This has a common factor of 2, and that leaves 3n minus 4. The denominator also has a common factor of 2, and that leaves 5n minus 2. These common factors cancel, so our final answer is 3n minus 4 over 5n minus 2. So sometimes after we add or subtract, we then simplify our ending rational expression.